teams today. The All Black Reserve Graham Bashup was halfback instead of Bruce Deans. It was an important day for second five Warwick Taylor as he looks to re-establish himself on the national scene. The same applied in the Fords with LB Anderson and Andy Earl. But Canterbury's plan was to put the ball wide off into the flying wingers, Paolo Bale and Wurumu Monsal. Well, the experimentation continued today with the Pumas lineup. Fabian Gomez came into halfback. He looks the best of the three number nines the Pumas have here. Test fullback Scondi went to the wing today, but in the tight five only prop Diego Cash played in the test last week. Having a busy Referee mix of Keith tennis Lawrence, and rugby this weekend, Lawrence, the commentator is Keith Quinn. And Robbie Deans begins this match for the Argentine Pumas in New Zealand. And Fabio Gomez kicked to Stephen Bassett, has not found the ground touchline. And you can see the conditions underfoot in parts of the ground today are going to be heavy. But after that initial skirmish, there's an early penalty for Canterbury. And Robbie Deans may have a shot at goal while the ball is still dry. So it is an early shot at goal for Robbie Deans. But he curls it across in front of the posts. No goal, no score after one minute. Graham Bashup's ball. This is Paula Bailey. Number six is Andy Early. 1988 All Black. Bashup. Good hands into the back line again. Wide out, close marking by the Pumas. In fact, too close. They were up offside. Scaldney, one of them here. But the back's closer in. Fabian Turness and Lafreda ruled offside by referee Keith Lawrence. This ball coming out the back line. Look how fast the backs were up to offside. It looked like Fabian Turness was one of them. And also fullback Sebastian Salvat up there as uh, one of the tacklers. And Dean's goals. And so Canterbury have the early lead and are out by three points over the touring team. The early stages of the game have been a tough forward battle with uh, one outburst of fighting. Canterbury lead by three points to nil into the Canterbury backs. Now it's quite good for running there. Robbie Deans knows that and was up from fullback. That's the cricket pitch area which has been covered all week. So it's missed the rain. That's Warwick Taylor up to Paula Bailey. And he's had very good scoring form for Canterbury in recent weeks. Murray Henderson, 10 metres to go. The first big attacking move to the game and the penalty will go against the Pumas players for diving in over the top. Gustavo Milano was won. Over they went and it's a penalty for Canterbury. Looking at it again, remember that there is a firm patch in the middle of the field and Canterbury knew that. Taylor out to Paula Bailey and uh, the Fijian-born winger made a good run. But look where the ball goes down with Henderson in possession. How the Pumas forwards coming in from the left dive in over the top and they can't do that. Look at Milano number eight. Over he goes like a gymnast and the penalty comes. Yaketi with his hands up, jumping against Anderson. That's an easy one for Anderson. Stephen Basham, Paula Bailey trying to get through. There's John Bucken, the former Canterbury captain and uh, New Zealand international in 1987. minutes gone. Gustavo. Gomez lost it. Taken by Penny. Basham Brothers. Warwick Taylor on the left foot. Here's Wurrimu Monsal getting into the picture, showing a lot of speed. Can he show patience? And not quite enough way on to tip the ball over the line for the try but a good effort there on the left wing by Wirimu Monsal. Here it is out from Graham to Stephen Basham but the left footed kick across field suddenly put Wirimu Monsal in the clear. He towed it once which is the intelligent thing to do and what a shame it didn't just run on further over the line and it slipped away and was knocked over the goal line. So close marking by the Pumas. Push play back to the 22 now. Gomez. Good drive forward by the Argentina scrum. Canterbury rather letting them come forward. <laughs> so 
so it's going to be a series of hard scrummages again last man up is Murray Henderson very tough flanker that was not straight by number nine Fabio Gomez and it's a free kick for Canterbury so Bashup takes it running it up to a new set position here Graham Bashup and Yaketi and uh, Kash and Denizio are considered offside in midfield by referee Keith Lawrence Robbie Deans has been in good form lately with his goal kicking 20 points in the last game Two penalties so far today, and at the end of the first quarter, Canterbury in the lead by 6 to nil. From the kickoff. Out in the backs again, Madero, the high kick. That's three times he's got the ball in the first 20 minutes, and three times he's kicked it. This is Fabian Turnes. Now, the Argentina team approaches the Canterbury goal line here, but there's a real wrestling match with the men in uh, the middle of that. You can see the familiar features of Turnes. And there he is, he had the ball in there. And it's a good position here for the Pumas. So Milano with the ball under his feet. Lost, Gomez running wide. Mr. Silva Gomez, Gomez to try, Fabio Gomez, in combination with his left winger Diego Cuesta Silva has scored the first try for Argentina and the first try in this match. Now Gomez is the man who they don't favour in the test teams but he's played well on this tour, he passed to Cuesta Silva, took the return pass and was in, in the corner. Fine goal by Turnes, and Argentina have levelled after 22 minutes. The last Saturday provincial match of the tour, and Argentina hoping for big things today. They recognise Canterbury as a tough team, but uh, Canterbury putting pressure on the moment, and not a great game in the first 30 minutes, it has to be said. With 10 minutes to play to half-time, Juan Jose Angelicio, I think that was Jackson who got the ball for Canterbury. It's there for young Graham Basham. Away to Stephen Basham. This is McCormick. The centre three-quarter, Andrew McCormick. With him is Murray Henderson, the real live wire flanker. Protecting him, he hit the ball for his half-back Basham. Stephen Basham, Warwick Taylor. Heading back into the big traffic. Out in front of the goalpost, six all, referee playing advantage. Can Canterbury clear it here? Basham running wide. Henderson. Good defence. Graham Basham. Stephen Basham. But there's the try score. Pumas players say that uh, something happened there. But you see referee Lawrence pointing at his foot. So it looks like it wasn't a knock forward. It came off the foot of Graham Basham. Went forward and then was claimed by Stephen Basham. Look at this again. Murray Henderson takes it forward. The little question mark over the try that was there when uh, it slipped off the boot of Graham Bashup, but it went to his brother Stephen, and Stephen scored the try. Robbie Deans lands the conversion, and Canterbury at 12, and Argentina a 6. Diego Cash, Gomez, narrow side, changes his mind. He's a dangerous little player, and they won't put him in their test team. Fabio Gomez, he played in the World Cup here in 1987 in New Zealand. When he was a much younger player, but uh, he keeps the opposition teams on their toes. Now Graham Basham, Robbie Deans. This has gone to space. Salvat has a look to see where the enemy is. Falls over. Paula Bailey just misses him. The ball is still in play in midfield. The disappointment there for John Jackson, the lock forward, looking a bit sheepish over there to the right. I think the ball bounced off his head. And there's Sebastian Salvan, who looked anything but safe and secure back at fullback. On Kalisho, deflected by Milano. Whistle. Oh, 
So right near half time, here is a good position for Canterbury. There are some heavy parts ahead of their backs. You can see the cricket square is the best to run on, so they're a bit ahead of that. Penny off to Andy Earl. Gets away from Madero. Graham Basham, Stephen Basham, Taylor, Robbie Deans, Monsell. Wurrumu Monsell gets Canterbury's second try today. It was well played by Canterbury. The Basham brothers, Taylor overhead pass to Deans as extra man. They left out McCormick and Monsell had the run in. So here's Deans from a good side of the field. Good land this one, the big man in Canterbury point scoring. Bending it around nicely, and through, great goal. Robbie Deans can still do it, and Canterbury at half time lead Argentina by 18 points to six. It's a sunny scene at Lancaster Park as play really begins in the second half here after the kick to the goal line and they drop out it wasn't taken properly so here's the Pumas down by 80 to 6 at half time trying to score early in the second half Madero angling his kick for the corner Skolny coming through and Mozzel oh it's there for Skolny oh just lost very nearly a scoring chance for the Turing team and they'll get a five metre scrum because it was a Canterbury player who uh, lost it back let's have a look Gomez out to Madero who seemed to take a while to make up his mind kicked wide for the corner Skolny and Monsell coming through and Monsell deflected it back over the goal line well no he's ruled something else a uh, five meter put in for Basham Canterbury putting it in defense and a penalty against the Canterbury team for the collapse So the Pumas are not going to shoot for goal once again, as they've seen, we've seen them do so often in New Zealand. They turn down the chance of having a penalty. They ask instead for a scrum. It's a rarity in New Zealand, but they do a lot of it. But look how heavy the ground is there. And the Canterbury team in slightly better footing are making the most of it. Milano to Gomez, and Gomez has through some shoddy Canterbury defence for his second try. Fabio Gomez. Early try to Argentina. Here's the replay. Have a look at number eight, Gustavo Milano. Was he still in the scrum or he hooked it back with his hands? Look at the man on the number eight. He puts his hand into the scrum while he's still attached with the other arm. Well, it's uh, neither here nor there because what was really surprising was Gomez getting through some Canterbury defence on the blind side to score the try. Here's Turner's kick. Close to the post, but no goal. 18 points to 10. Three minutes gone, second half. So again, Argentina pushed Canterbury straight off the ball. Madero running hard. Infield to Milano, who started it all from the tight head. That's the goal line. Well done, Milano. Out to Gomez. Angelisho driving for the line. And he's just short. Good play by Argentina, starting with the scrum where they pushed Canterbury off the ball. And then good running by Milano and Madero. And they have a real chance here for a pushover try. Fabio Gomez, let's see how the Argentina, oh they accidentally kicked it through on the Canterbury side, oh what a shambles it is there, it was accidentally kicked through by one of the Pumas players and that cost them possibly a try because their scrum has been going so well, look at this, it goes in but then it's lost forward in the strike onto the Canterbury side, Ancaliso throws over towards the back, Yuriati number four has been standing down the back, Advantage on the Canterbury side. Basham. Basham again, that's Stephen Basham. 
Only one boomer forward there. Surely they must make progress. Bucken, yes. Breaks three of all the shackles. Bert Anderson. That's Chubb Earl. Carried on by Andy Earl. Good forward drive by Canterbury. Graham Bassett, Stephen Bassett, McCormick, Paula Bailey. Oh, bad luck, Bailey. He very nearly caught his own kick and was over. He's having a very good season since being brought into the Canterbury team. Here he is when he got the ball. He nudged it ahead. Then he really had then to catch the ball. But Sobat got his hands up. Just disrupted the catch. Otherwise, Bailey might have been in. A line out 16 minutes into the second half. 18 points to 10 to Canterbury. John Bucken driving for the line. Coming back for Canterbury. Graham Basham. He's had about four little dummy passes. Now he's got it away to his brother. Warwick Taylor close marching. McCormack. Robbie Deans. And Deans is in. so far in the game for Robbie Deans he has convergence and penalties and now the try and it's 22 points to 10 finally Graham Bashup got it out to Stephen Bashup Taylor there was some close marking in there as well McCormick rolled his pass around and Robbie Deans was up as extra man and there were two others outside him Bailey and Monsell try for Robbie Deans 16 points today for Deans and 24 points to 10 after 17 minutes second half. That's John Jackson, the Lincoln player. New Zealand University's rep is in the Canterbury team these days as a lock forward. Bash it to Bucket. Quick tap taken. This is Chris Earl. The one they call Chubb Earl, 22 metre line. Bashup to Bashup. The little flat kick through. Of course, back there is Gomez and a penalty. Stephen Bashup was interfered with as he went through. A penalty in a handy position to Canterbury. Watch Stephen Bashup. When he kicked through, I think he was taken out of the game. Yeah, they blocked him through. We just saw it as it went through. So Gomez got back and made the save, but the penalty was awarded. Another goal for Deans, one more kick, and he'll have the all-time Canterbury point-scoring record. He's two behind Fergie McCormick as Canterbury go out to 27 points to Argentina's 10. Come on, come on. Bash up. There it is again, a huge shove. Canterbury teams, a Canterbury scrum has not been pushed up the ball like this at Lancaster Park ever before, I'd imagine. Pablo Dionisio. Gomez. He's already scored two tries. Away to Madero. Where's Lafreda gone? He's in front. This is Ternes. Argentina back play again, looking pretty bad. Oh, Jalicio, the hooker now. Here's Gomez. Lafreda. Canterbury holding quite comfortably. Gomez to Madero to Salvat. Nice pass by Gomez between his legs. Kicked away by Warwick Taylor. But... Penalty here for Argentina as Taylor goes back. Tapping from the penalty. Yaketi heading towards the corner flag. Alejandro Yaketi turning it over for Gomez. Finds Madero. Lafredo. Again, he goes looking for gaps that just aren't there. Gomez running wide. He's got lots of drive, Gomez. Lost it against the post. You can score a try against the post. Let's look at this Gomez heading for the line. I think he just lost it forward there. And then they all collided with the goal post. So good chance here for the Pumas, whose scrum is working superbly in this game. Canterbury trying to bring them around, I think. If it goes around too much, it may be ruled as having gone too far. Another scrum to go down. Boomer's ball. Five 
five minutes to go. 27 points to 10. Can Argentina fashion a try here with their scrum under the goalpost against Canterbury? The frog marching them ahead. Fabio, Fabio Gomez gets in, and I think that's Gomez's third try. It is. And this will probably give him a game in the test match next week. How could you leave out a player who scored three tries? Fabio Gomez with five minutes to play, closes the gap to 27 to 14. Okay, this was a pushover and it was a bit of a lolly scramble and a lottery as to who gets it. But Gomez drove through, scored the try right under the bar. Madero goals, it's 27 to 16. Well, a lot of Canterbury supporters on the embankment here with their hard bitten critics of rugby, giving the Canterbury team a tough time coming towards the end of this game. They're well ahead on the scoreboard, 27 to 16, but uh, some suggestion from the fans that the Canterbury team should be winning by more. Been a difficult game to play, though, and Canterbury have done pretty well. They may get more here. Away to Stephen Basham for the drop kick. Penalty, though, offside. And Robbie Deans may come forward and kick for goal to get the record. Let's see. Deans is coming forward through the mud. But they're not going to give him the chance. John Bucket takes the tap. Penalty out in front. And what do they do here? This time it's Rob Penny. Canterbury team obviously haven't got the... Uh, the uh, rugby almanac in their back pockets out there today. Third penalty of the game for the tap. Graham Basham. Again, the Pumas players were not back 10 metres, but referee Lawrence lets it go. Stephen Basham stepping, losing it forward. Bad luck. Bad luck for Canterbury. Bad luck for Robbie Deans. Hoping to get that record on the big match today, but perhaps not being aware that. Uh, the 19 points he's got today add up to just two short of Fergie McCormick's all-time record for a Canterbury team. Robbie Deans now has it at the back. He's had an excellent game this afternoon, the veteran. Paul and Bailey. Andrew McCormick. A left-footed kick into the centre. Salvat waits. Fair catch not given. Salvat throws it away. McCormick, who wants it? Chabelle charging. And another penalty close to the line for the Canterbury team. Two minutes to play. Canterbury finishing strongly, trying to silence those critics on the bank that have been giving them a bit of stick in the last few moments. Very difficult conditions to play in. Canterbury have done very well to be up by 27 to 16 in the last stages of the game. So it's another attempt for the penalty. Basham to Taylor, to Graham Basham, to Rob Penny. Midfield. another defeat on their tour today. Hooked by Cannery, well done. That's been the exception rather the rule in the second half. Bailey. Bailey getting around behind the posts. And his try scoring record continues. Paula Bailey. He scored in the last five matches for Canterbury, and that's 13 tries in those five matches for Bailey. Graham Basham off to Robbie Deans. Looping around was Graham Basham. He got caught, got his pass away, and the Pumas' defence couldn't cope with the flying Paula Bailey. Here's the second replay. Out to Bailey, and he comes right down towards us here. Goes in, scoots in at the corner, and that's 31 points to 16. 
Robbie Deans converts. The game is all over. Deans equals McCormick's record of 1,297. He played an excellent part in Canterbury's game, scoring 21 points as they go to a 33-16 victory. For the Pumas, a good game today for their halfback, number nine, Fabio Gomez, who scored three tries. But Canterbury, after some struggles and some problems in the scrum on the heavy ground, played well enough to win comfortably by 33 to 16.